Holly, we, what do we do to deserve this, huh? Well, I'd like to begin by finding out what our community moments are, the things that are going on in the life of this church. I think Mark's got something right off out of the gate. I told him the mic is down to 75%. Um, it says there on the side, so I told him he had to cut out three of the four, two, one of the four announcements he had. So okay, really see. quick this morning. Today is the uh, last day if you would like to sign up for our family Christian camping. Um, we do have a little bit of room left, so if you have not signed up, please see me after church and we can make those arrangements. Second, June 5th is the Chris Boo's annual Memorial Steak Fry. It will be the kickoff to our picnic season at Lake Michigan. There is a sign up in the gathering room. Um, I will not know how many steaks to cut if I don't know how many people are going to be there. So if you're interested, please sign up for that. And last but surely not least, any families that have young kids that are interested in camping this year at one of our Christian camps, we do have some scholarship opportunities available. Um, there are forms out in the gathering room on the desk, and if you are interested in doing that, uh, please fill those out, return them to me, and our camping committee will get together and discuss those and see what we can do to help. I have a question. Yes. God would have to certify that. I can't, but I, but I will try. That's for sure. I think that was the, was that the week that the wind blew? Yeah. Oh, it was really blowing, wasn't it? Any other announcements to hold up today for the good of the cause, things that are going on? Well, let's uh, take a moment. Let's greet our friends and neighbors. I'll call you back. <laughs> Please uh, join with me in the call to worship, which you'll see up front or in your bulletins, and stand as you're able. How wondrous a new heaven and a new earth. In its place, God will offer a new hope and a new peace. Worship the Lord who is about to do a new thing. Amen. Let's open our service today with the great old hymn, Trust and Obey. Bye. 
standing and join me in the opening prayer? Patient God, sometimes we are just too busy for our own good. The cries of those in need often go unheeded in our blur of activities, which sap our energy, our resources, our spirit. Slow us down a bit, Lord. Remind us again that we're responsible for the care of this world, for reaching out and offering your healing love. Remind us again of Jesus' words to his disciples when he told them that they should love one another as he loved them. May we take time to bear witness to that love in all that we think, say, and do. I invite my young friends to come forward. Come on down, you guys. Come on down. Oh, I don't see a box appearing anywhere. No box, no box. Jeremiah had it last week, I think. Because it was just me and Jeremiah last week, wasn't it, Jeremiah? Come on up here. Look who's coming. Come on down. Yeah. Your sister. Luna's here. Your sister's here. Nobody brought the box. Nobody's just hiding it, right? No, there wasn't anyone here to take it last week. Wasn't anybody here to take it. So, so here we are. We have no box. But today, we're going to talk about what it means to have Strong faith and perfect beliefs. How many of you have the strongest faith possible? How many of you guys have the strongest, strongest faith and you just know you're the strongest in faith? Raise your hand real high. Wait a minute, you guys. Isn't this a church? I would think that in a church of all places, we'd have hands going up all over because... These people would be the people with strong faith. Well, let's see. All right, let's try this. How many of you have the most, you have perfect beliefs? Everything you believe is absolutely right. Oh, wait a minute. Let's ask these guys, because surely we'll get a different answer. How many of you guys have perfect beliefs? Everything you believe is perfect. Okay, we got a wise guy here. I mean, that's where the word comes from, doesn't it? Wise guy. We got two wise guys. All right. Well, I'm here to tell you that probably wisdom is, is probably actually with the majority. And that means that we know that we fall short. We already know that about ourselves. We know that we, we believe one thing and then we are influenced to shift to another thing and we are influenced to shift to another. And, and sometimes that shifting is really good, but it reminds us that at any given moment in time, our beliefs aren't perfect because they're, they're growing and we're becoming more mature in our faith, but it's imperfect still. And the same thing goes with, with how strong our faith is. Sometimes we know that our faith is strong because in, in the face of some difficulty, we're able to do okay with it, but other times we discover that in the face of something difficult, we just feel like giving up. Have any of you ever just broke down and cried when something went yucky? You don't have to raise your hand if you don't want. Yeah, a few of us have done that. Yeah, yeah. And you know, that's, that's a reminder that sometimes we do feel like we haven't got everything together in life. And today we're here to talk about how there is something even more important than having everything perfect in our lives. To recognize that there is somebody that is in our lives that does fix what's broke. And that person is Jesus, because it's through Jesus that we come to understand who God is and how God's love is so wonderful in our lives. Even when we fall short, even when we don't have it all together, God is there and with us, and we can count on that and trust that. So today we're going to talk more about that, but I thought we'd start there, seeing as we didn't have the box. If you don't bring the box, I'm going to talk for like a half hour to you guys. How about that? Oh, please bring the box. <laughs> all righty, let's say... Let's, let's say a prayer, all right? 
Lord, we thank you for this day, beautiful as it is, and we ask that you would help us uh, just to remember that beauty isn't just in weather, but it's in the way that we live our lives in relation to each other. Help us to care for our friends and our neighbors and the people in our community and beyond. And Lord, help us to remember the prayer that you taught us all to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Great. Thanks for coming up.
It's so often a good moment in time as we step away from our choir giving us a song and we step into prayer. So this is our time to pray together. What are the prayers? Surgery, successful, good, and you're up and about. Well, and I see you've done well enough. Your husband gave you a new necklace there. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, dear, he's going to be working away from home now for a while, isn't he? All righty. Thank you. What other prayers are we holding up today? Other things we're thinking about? Yes. I have two things. Um, we've talked quite a bit about my, burn, my neighbor, Bernie Halverson, and he continues to have issues he's struggling with, and the latest news is he's probably going to lose a foot. Oh. And so just prayers for him as he adjusts to this whole thing. He's in the nursing home, wants to be home, and I think ultimately really wants to be home with his wife that passed away. And the other thing, it's kind of a, a praise and concern. My wife is, she hurt her finger in an, an industrial accident. We're thankful it was not worse. It could have been much, much worse. So that's just the praise. That's right. When that press comes down and malfunctions and comes down when it's not supposed to, luckily you got as much of your hand out of there as possible. I'm, I'm sorry that you lost the end of your finger, Don. Let's keep Don in our prayers, and let's also keep Bernie in our prayers. You know, he's, he's just such a bright guy, and his mind is, is clicking along just great, but his body is not. And so let's keep Bernie in our thoughts. Who else are we holding up? Yes. We have uh, the, uh, Larry Bradfield and, uh, family in uh, our prayers, but uh, need more prayers as Larry lost his brother this past week. Wow, that's a lot of loss for a family, losing your brother and having lost your son recently. So let's keep the Bradfield family in our prayers at this time. Who else do we hold up? Yes. Prayers for my friend Dorothy, who's having surgery this week. That's right, let's keep Dorothy in our prayers as she has surgery this week. Others that we remember in our prayers, yes. Those in the military. Let's keep them in our prayers. Yes. <coughs> so let's just keep our, the youth of our city, our area in our prayers. There's so many challenges for the young people to deal with in life and in all the things they do. So let's keep them in our thoughts. Thanks for reminding us. Who else? Yes. That's right for the Egyptian plain. Let's keep uh, them, all those families in our prayers and all the people that are trying to sort it all out. Let's keep them in our thoughts. Thank you. Yes. Keep Sherry and her family in our prayers in the loss of their loved one um, as they face these days ahead that are not easy in the face of suicide. Who else do we hold up? Yes. Let's keep Bev and Bill in our prayers. Others? Th yes. Oh, um, Sandy, did I see a hand? Natalie's um, father. All right. Your sister-in-law. Let's keep them in our prayers. Yes. Um, I'd like prayers for our community. Um, next to the post office is a, a little outreach ministry called the Center, and it's 
serves um, gay, lesbian, transgender teens and teens who are being bullied and they have all kinds of services there. And this week, um, two women who say they're from a North Muskegon church came in and told him that they were horrible and that they had to go away and they were not wanted in this community because of who they attract. And um, uh, then they went to the city manager and tried to get the business closed and then they sent someone in who said some very unpleasant things about how they're not wanted. And I just, I wanna pray for them and the important work they do with suicide prevention and the people they serve. And also, um, I have a heartache because they're saying they're Christians and they say they're from North Muskegon and that we don't want them in. And we have to say, no, we are Christians by our love. So I would like them lifted up in our community. They do important work. All right. Holding up the folks that have the office next to the um, post office in our prayers. Yes. Okay, mom and then dad on both sides. We've held them up now for a while and uh, the problems are not going to easily go away and it's a big struggle. So we continue to hold them up. Thank you for reminding us. Yes, Doug. Yeah, continued prayers for, for my daughter Liz and her daughter. Um, they are both home. Um, Liz came home from the hospital. Uh, the, the first week of treatment was very successful. Uh, her blood test showed that <laughs> blood was 99.999% clear of the cancer cell. Um, her spinal fluid remains clear. Um, we, you know, the treatments make her tired and a little bit crabby. Um, and uh, just prayers for them as they go through this adjustment coming back home and, and, and what life is going to be like for them for the next two years. And also uh, as they sort through some domestic things that are going on in the family as well. And then I guess the other prayer, or the more of a joy, is that uh, Kim lifted up that I was I had a I had a biopsy last week. Uh, the results were clear, so that's very positive news for me. All right, let's keep Laura in our prayers and a prayer of thanksgiving for some good test results that have come back. So let's remember those prayers. Others that we hold up. Anybody else? You know, I spent uh, half of the week, the second half, with my aunt down in Florida, and we did the estate sale. I did something similar with my parents, although it was an auction for them. But I just am here to remind you today that all the stuff, all the stuff <laughs> that you have and the stuff I have, it's worth almost nothing in this world. All right? It's such, a, it's such a shock. You know, my aunt will find out today what her stuff was worth. And, and I've already talked with the salesperson. Not worth much. And she had wonderful stuff. You know, she had never had ch children to break all her stuff. And she kept it nice. Everything was beautiful. It's just stuff. And it's a good reminder from time to time, if we could just be a fly on the wall at somebody else's place when something like this is going on, perhaps it would temper us in terms of everything we have. And even if we went around giving our stuff away to people we love ahead of time, my aunt did none of that. Wow, how she would feel right now. She'd be surrounded perhaps even by people that she hasn't got because she hasn't got just about anybody. Think about it. Just a word to the wise as we come together in prayer because I think it's real about our lives, isn't it? We got stuff. So let's come together in prayer. Yeah, there we go. You want some stuff? <laughs> we have a yard sale for you. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Let's join in our prayer song.
Spirit of the living God. Fall afresh on us as we gather here in this place. Lord, help us to know it's not this place, but it's our coming together with each other and with you. Fall afresh on us. Help us to discover in this day a more full understanding of our purpose here. We're not here for ourselves, simply to continue to find some kind of satisfaction or joy. But we're here to give and receive joy. To be in the midst of joy. Lord, help us to see that you love us so completely. Help us to see that indeed there is nothing in heaven or on earth that can separate us from your love if only we would know that it's there. Lord, open our hearts and minds to your scripture as it's read and proclaimed. Carry us from this place with something new in our hearts. For we pray this in your holy name. Amen.